this is your boy laddie boy back with a new tutorial this time a tutorial is going to be about my x touch which is connected via uh, my a network with my macbook pro um i'm not so much have it connected to my other mac cause i'm using this to do the streaming i have it also connected with my this so you can see if i move this fader here it moves and all everywhere but it's connected if you look on the side over here it's connected to my XR18 which is right here and my XR18 is connected to my Apple extreme um, rotor as my base station and um, I'm connecting with my other router here which is directly connected to my X touch um, in this video you would notice that in this tutorial that my X touch um, to get it up and running I had to set it up and and uh, I forget the mode is it but it connects to the software via the network of connected and um you have to set up your ip addresses it's it's, it's a little um that in itself is a little video by itself so i'm not getting into the actual way how i configure the network but what i want to say is that i actually also purchased a software online that's called osa midi so actually it allows me to do things with the with the X Touch and the software, I'm actually running the XA software itself. It allows me to do things that um, I haven't tried yet with with mixing station. But uh, you can see my faders are moving either way, even though they're moving on the tablet. That's all. Thing. But what it does is that with the OSA MIDI software that you can buy, you can actually buy small interfaces that carry the software that allows you to do changes. Um, change. What does it allow me to do instead of only just mixing and no half saying You can see if, I mean, you can't see that well on the, on the screen, but what I want to show you is that and the software for the OSA MIDI, um, there's actually some pre-map settings that are already set up between the um, the software and my X Touch, so it allows me to do things like that I couldn't really do um, before. So what I would do is that. It allowed me to actually use the X Touch and the laptop, basically like how I would use the X32 in terms of not just seeing what's happening on these scribble strips here alone. It's allowed me that when I do things on the X Touch, it also mirrors it on the software that I didn't have before. So as you can see. Right now, over here, I'm on the mixer setting. But if I click on my EQ button here, which is on my X touch, even though you don't see anything happen there, as soon as I touch this knob, it goes into adjusting my EQ levels and what's not. And that's very, um, that's very good. The software is actually, you buy the software, OSA, MIDI, and it's on your, it's on, I actually have it on one device and it's set up to do that. It has a lot more function also what I can do. I could actually go and map a lot of functions to, I could actually set my own setup to control all these, use these buttons for different functions in the software. Um, but I haven't tried it with, I don't know if it's compatible with mixing station but that's not the purpose of this right now you can see if i go back and i hit my track button and i move this it, it, it goes right back 
there if I go into my sense these lights up and you can see as soon as I do that it bring up my bus two cents here and um, if I go here you see this move to bus one and it changes the buses as I go through the buses so if I also go and a lot of the buttons are pre-mapped I didn't even map them but I can map them if I click on this button that says plug in it brings my effects up so now I have control over my effects you can see it went to my effects and if I hit this one it says instrument it let me control between my compressor and my gate so now I'm on my compressor and no my my gate you see so on as I move the knob I can change stuff within the gate but that's on my gate and there's different function that I could change they're already pre-mapped to the software if I click on it again and switch it over to the compressor as soon as I move something you will see it switch now to the compressor I hope you guys could see it I don't know how well you can see it but um so it's totally it's totally controllable and instead of just having to um let's say I want to EQ some let's say I go back to the beginning and I want to EQ something instead of having to let's say I'm working on 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 this channel you see all my mutes and stuff that's working and that's not a problem my solos I'm not interested in all that because you could always do that but what I can do now with this other software that I have it's called OSI MIDI stage it's allowed me to actually use my screen as a, um as my visual so I'm not using let's see even though I have all the layouts and the EQ here and my compressor whatever I don't have to basically look at these small little scripts to see well okay this is this band so when they click my EQ button here and I touch any of these buttons it brings up my EQ over there and I can make my adjustments without having to actually look onto the mix itself which is very good you know and um, like again I said you could get some smaller devices that can control the software that already has this MIDI um, system on it but I just want to show you that um, right now if I had let's see not just the X18 maybe the X32 rack just by using this the X touch along with the X Air app and this software it allows me the same amount of freedom I would have on the X32 or uh, well probably the M32 but now I can see exactly what's going on um, as I touch these different buttons you know it moves through these things up here the sense the main the input the gate which is very cool you know and I think uh, I haven't seen let me see on my X or uh, on my app a lost connection. Let's see if I can get my connection back. Okay, lost connection with the app, but that's not a problem. But what I'm saying is that it allows me to do a lot of things, you know, and I even haven't even started to scratch the surface yet. I have all my buses and stuff set up, and one, even though I'm not seeing it here. As soon as I go back here and I click on this one, I'm sure you can see the, the, all the changes are taking place. So, guys, this is how um I'm running. I'm not so much the faders and stuff. You see, they touch the fader, the bus one selector comes up. When I go to bus two, it doesn't move. But as soon as I move the fader, the second bus two shows up there. So everything is actually basically pre-map and it shows it here on my screen that I'm in that particular bus um, I could set up my mute groups I could set up everything but it's not about the physical thing that I could set up it's kind of loving me to see all my EQ changes per channel and my 
um, compressor setting. Let's say if I go to my first channel, which is channel one, and I hit my EQ button, and I start to EQ this channel. You can see I can go to number two, and I can set up a whole different EQ for number two. You see, I can go to number three, and then soon I start to mess with these things, all the different it follows the software actually follows what I'm touching on the hardware so it gives me the same um, opportunity and, and freedom as if I'm working on an X32 or M32 so the, the whole just about this um, tutorial is to show you that using the X touch with the X air edit app and the OCI MIDI um, program and purchase it online I can't remember how much money it was not a whole lot but allow you the freedom to actually not only do this but you can map every single button on the X touch the different functions and the software itself and I haven't even done that I just basically set it up and have it follow so it, it follows what I'm doing you know so my sense as soon as I touch my sense you could see I touch my um, effects either my all my effects settings I still haven't figured out a way for it to actually show the effect so what I'm gonna do in my next video I'm gonna map this here to actually jump over over there you know I want to have it when I touch this button I want to see this so I'm gonna have to map this so it brings up these but in the meantime I already move it over now to my let's see my gate press that bam my gate comes back up over there so I hope you guys enjoy this video hit me up let me know this is your boy laddie boy peace out